Hey guys, it's Sarah with Pinocchio Chrysler and today I'm going to be taking you on a walk around on a pre-owned 2014 Jeep Cherokee Limited in a beautiful white paint coat. Under the hood it has a 3.6 liter V6 engine with your 9 speed automatic transmission. And as we're heading down the front you do have your automatic headlights, some nice chrome detailing on that honeycomb grill and then you have your front parking sensors and then as we keep making our way down if you can see there is a camera in there and that is for your adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist and to help you out with your parallel and perfect perpendicular park assist which we will get to more of later right down there you do have a fog light and as we're heading around the side you are going to be riding on 18 inch blacked out aluminum alloy wheels with a set of nokian tires with plenty of tread on them you do also have your disc brakes on all fours and mud flats on all fours as well and then a nice weather um, rock guarding going down the bottom and then as we keep coming up you do have a nice Cherokee badge there on the side and then as we make our way up to the side mirror there you do have your side signal indicating lights here and your mirror does fold in and break away. And then having a look here up at the roof you do have a roof rack as well. Alright so I'm just going to grab the keys we'll head on inside and we'll keep looking around. Hopping us into this 2014 Jeep Cherokee we do have our keyless entry, remote start and our back lift gate. We also have our panic button which I won't demonstrate for you today. However I will start it up. And instead of hitting the unlock button on the fob, we do have our proximity keyless entry so you can stick your key in your pocket or your purse, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand in, and it will unlock for you. All right, and then as we're heading in on the driver's side here, if you can see those beautiful styling and detailing, you have this nice stitching and the wood grain insert there. We have our power locks, windows, and our mirrors. You also have your um, power memory seats for the driver's side. And then if you have a look, there's a compartment for storage down there. Coming in on the floor, there's a nice carpeted Jeep floor mat there that's been covered by plastic by our lovely service department. And then as we head over to the driver's seat, you do have leather interior throughout with seating 4-5 and very comfortable seats. There's great stitching on them as well. And the driver's seat it is power adjustable also. All right, I'm just going to hop inside. Keep checking everything out. Your driver's seat is also heated and vented for extra comfort. And then you also have this beautiful leather wrapped heated steering wheel. Keep your hands nice and warm on those cold winter days. All right, and so since I did remote start it, you just have to push that button to activate it because it is a push button start. While everything's activating, we can look here. You have all your menu option arrows there so that you can go through your menu options and your fully customizable LCD screen up in there. If you can see there's 46,429 kilometers on here. So very low kilometers. So if you talk to our finance team, they can let you know what kind of warranty remains and what can be added to it. Coming back to the steering wheel, you do have your hands-free calling that uh, goes through your Bluetooth for the Uconnect. And then on this side, you do have all of your cruise control settings and then also that adaptive cruise control settings, which means that if you set the adaptive cruise control, it's going to keep you at a certain speed and if you're getting too close to a vehicle, it will slow you down and then when you get further away from them, it'll bring you back up to the speed you wanted. Or same with if you're getting too far behind, you're too slow, it's just going to keep you at that speed but at a safe, safe pace. That's why you're not braking and starting constantly. And then uh, if you wrap your hands around the steering wheel, you do have your volume controls and your tuner controls on each side. Heading into the center now, we do have an 8.4 inch LCD touchscreen display with your AM, your FM, and your Sirius Satellite XM radio. We have your media setting there where you can connect a device like your phone or your iPod and listen to your own music. All your controls in there for your heated and your vented seat and that heated steering wheel. And then your passenger also gets a heated and vented seat as well. You have your climate there where you turn it on and you do have the dual split climate control so you can adjust them separately from your passenger. Um, if you're in here by yourself, you just hit that sync button and it will sync it all up to whatever the driver has it set at. In here you do have your navigation settings there so you can type in an address, view your map, information, emergency, all that fun stuff you might need. And then right there you have your phone so you can connect your phone to pair it to the vehicle. It's asking me to pair a phone, I'm going to say no. And then there's some settings in there so you can customize everything the way you like it. Alright, so as we keep coming down you have your parallel perpendicular park assist there. See, that's how you turn it on. Those are your parking sensors. You can turn those off by pressing that button. You have your hazard. This is your lane keep assist and this is your brake assist. So if you're getting too close to a vehicle, the vehicle will actually start braking for you if you're not paying enough attention. And then it kind of 
let you know, hey, I got a break too. Okay, so as we keep going down, you do have your screen off and back button, your traction control, your volume, and your tuner controls, and then again, those dual split climate controls. And then as we look around here, it's kind of sunny, but you can see there's SD card, USB, auxiliary, and a 12 volt plug. And then these are your terrain modes. So you have auto, snow, sport, sand, and mud. And then here is your electric park brake there. Two drink holders in the center here. And then your center console here. You can open that up. You have compartment for storage in there. And a deeper compartment down in there with a USB and a 12 volt plug. I'm going to bring your attention up to the roof now. It's going to get nice and bright for you. But you do have a nice moon roof in here that goes all the way. Panoramic, sunroof, whatever you want to call it. Goes all the way to the back of the vehicle. Giving you lots of lighting and airflow. Alright, so I'm just going to head on into the back. And we'll keep looking at all the great features that we can find back there. Okay, so heading into the back now. Again, you have great sign. You have your window options there on the door. You have your compartment for storage in the door. And then on the floor there, you do have carpeted floor mats as well. Carpeted floor mats, these thick ones. You have holders on the back of the seat here. And then if you have a look down here, there's a 115 volt plug. They're definitely set up with plug-ins in here. And then in the back here, they have that those nice leather seats. Again, you have seating for three in the back. And this does fold down, acting as an armrest or two drink holders. And then you do also have a 60-40 split on the back seats where this does fold down. There we go. Sorry. Leading into the back cargo area, giving you tons of room if needed. And then if you can see on the back seats there, you do have your car seat anchors as well. All right, so we will keep making our way around. And as we head around the back, you do have your back parking sensors. You do have dual exhaust and a backup camera. I'm going to use the fob here to open up that back lift gate. Since I did not show you that earlier. So nice and easy. Great for if you're getting groceries or something. Just opens right up. And there's tons of space back in there as well. You do also have a cargo cover here. And if you lift this up, there's some compartments under there for storage. And then if you want to close it back up, you can again use the fob. Or you, there is a button here. You just push that. And it will close all up for you. All right. Head in on this side now. See everything? Nice and clean. Very well taken care of. Like I said, it has very low kilometers as well. Head in on the passenger side here. And you have that heated and vented passenger seat as well. You do have that carpeted floor mat on the floor. And then there is a lockable, lockable, lockable glove box here. All right. So if you guys are interested in this or you have any more questions about it, you can head on down to Pinoca Chrysler. We have an excellent sales team and a great finance team waiting to help you out. We are located just on the south end of Pinoca, just off of Highway 2A. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks for watching.